How's it going? <laughs> it's nice to see you here on this random swing set. Yeah, you got a mic too? Oh, yeah, actually. I, br I brought this Rode Wireless Go 2 with me. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I just keep it on me. Sure, yeah. Do you want to talk about the Fujifilm X-T4 in 2021? Oh, yeah, actually, I have one of those. Do you? Yeah, my, mine's the black one, though. This is I like this one. It looks pretty vintage -y. Yeah, Fujifilm does a really good job of making their stuff look kind of cool and retro -y. Yeah, and they have, like, good, like jpeg film sims right yeah yeah i've heard that i've heard that yeah pretty um, epic honestly yeah, pretty epic there you go bro hey howdy guys how Connor mccasco here with zach mayfield Hi. and uh, today we are as we alluded to are going to talk about the fujifilm xt4 in the 2021 environment and we're just hanging and we're just hanging it's a very chill vibey video because we're both kind of tired from just like making a lot of videos. Yeah, Zach has two other channels that he works on, his personal and... Me and Connor worked on a reality TV pilot episode this past weekend as well. Yeah. And that was like a 14 hour day. So we're just, we just need some vibing. Not to mention also my good buddy Cam Mackey's in town. And What's so up, Cammy? Mackey? We, uh, we hung out all day yesterday, did some downtown shooting last night. So yeah, a lot of good stuff. We were actually shooting with the Fujifilm X100V. Yes. So that was pretty snazzy. That's a great camera. But we're not talking about that. You're right. You're right. We're going to talk about the Fujifilm X-T4. And, and Zach, you've, you've had an X-T4 for a long time. Yeah. Honestly, as soon as it got announced, I put in my pre-order on Amazon. Yeah. So I was one of the early purchasers. Yeah. Yeah, same. I did mine on, on B&H Photo day one when yeah. I hadn't snagged it. And I, I had a little bit of a controversial video on my channel. I, I sold my GH5. Yeah. And my Blackmagic Ursa G2, biggie boy. Yeah, uh, that thing was a beast. Dude, I to this day, one possibly my favorite camera I've owned as far as like functionality and image quality. Yeah. But I wanted an all-arounder camera because I was getting more into YouTube. Yeah. And so I chose the X-T4 and it was really fun. I made so many videos on this camera. Yeah. But I, I still keep it around because it's just so... It's just so fun to use. Right. It's good at pretty much everything. Yeah, because that's the thing is you've now moved on to, and what we're shooting on right now is the Sony A7S III, which is just a absolute stellar camera. Yes. But yet you still find yourself keeping the X-T4. Are you like, <laughs> do you feel like you're ever gonna get rid of it at this point or like wait till the T5 or like, what's hmm. the story? Like, how do you feel about this camera? As of right now, like where the camera market is, Yeah. I see myself just kind of holding on to a Fuji film at all times just because it's one of those cameras like Fuji does such a good job at making a camera that you just want to take with you. Yeah. It's like such a good like personal companion camera. Right. Um, and maybe that's like the vibe of their film simulations or just like the small body but you know powerful images. Yeah. But I, I love my Sony a7S III but it's just like it's my workhorse camera. Right. And I kind of see my Fuji as like my my fun hobby it, camera. Yeah, it's the it's the play camera. Yeah, you know? exactly. Something we did recently, and you should definitely go check out Zach's channel, is we did a film recipe video with the Fujifilm X100V, and that's that's like a, a new thing for Zach and I is tapping into the customizable film simulations, the JPEGs in these cameras. It 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 kind of created an extra element of fun for me when using it because. Like when we were done shooting, we were done shooting. Like yeah. that was it. We didn't we didn't have to edit any photos, and they look great. Yeah, exactly. And I don't have any desire to be considered like a professional photographer. Yeah, I, I like just going out and shooting more for the memories. Like I loved that during that X one hundred V photo vlog we made together. Yeah, it was more about just me and you hanging out and like interacting with random people, and. Knowing that I didn't have to edit later, yeah, it was just really fun. So I'm glad you showed me the the recipes thing because it just made it about going out and making that memory instead yeah. of like, you know, like oh I gotta go shoot content for Instagram. It's like no, I just I just want to have a good time with my buddy and, yeah. and bring some cameras along. We ended up taking some pretty good snaps. I feel yeah, we got a yeah. couple bangers in there for sure. Yeah, not not too bad, but that's kind of I feel like that's where Fujifilm fits right now in 2021. I feel like it can totally be your only sole camera as it is for me yeah right i this is the only camera i have this is my content creation camera really mm -hmm. but that's maybe not where it shines the most 
I feel like I'm kind of morphing it into it. I like to be honest, my goal is to eventually pick up a Canon R5. Yeah, dude. It's kind of like my Sony A7S3. Just all around beast for any situation. Right. You know, it's gonna have better IBIS, it's gonna have better autofocus, it's gonna be full frame. Like all those things are really great as a workhorse camera, right? Yeah. But even when I snag that, if I I, I feel like I just can't, I, I won't, <laughs> I can't part with this camera. And if yeah. you, if you own, I feel like if you own a Fujifilm, you know, whichever one, the T30, the T3, the X-T4, mm -hmm. the X100V, the X100F, it's like all these, all these Fujifilm cameras, they're just, they have a quality that other, other cameras just don't have. Yeah. And I think people really enjoy being a part of the Fuji family. Just yeah. Because it's kind of like a tight knit niche audience of you know cool creative people mm -hmm. and yeah i i like that you can kind of build out fuji cameras to do what you want like i've shot some pretty professional wedding films and music mm -hmm. videos like before i transitioned into more youtube stuff right and you can really like rig these cameras out with cages and turn them into little cinema monsters yeah i mean that is that is true like i i did just say it, i almost prefer it as like a hobby fun camera but you're right if if you need it to you can build it. You can build it out. Throw, slap a matte box on this thing. Yeah, exactly. And, and the, the images are amazing. Dude, the internal 10-bit F-log yeah. is so beautiful. I know. It like, looks awesome. You can do 422 10-bit out through an Animos, but it's like... You don't necessarily need it. You don't need to. The, the F-log just looks good yeah. right out of the gate. It just does. And I love that like Fuji's unique thing is the film simulations. Right. And I remember like, I used to be such a stickler, man. I used to be way more of a stickler about image quality. Like yeah. everything's gotta be in raw or log. Right. But it's like, it's fun. Like, didn't you shoot a video in like one of the black and white film sims? Uh, well, I was toying around with that. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't actually publish it. Insert B-roll clip. <laughs> Insert, I'll, I'll, I'll put it in because I have the footage still. Yeah. Um, but I decided against it because I was kind of talking out my butt a little bit. <laughs> uh, I was talking. We're about, definitely not doing that now. Yeah, yeah, not doing this that now. This is very planned. This is super planned. No, I, what I mean by that is like I was, I felt like I was, I was talking about like the film simulations and how they compare to actual film stocks, which they do, yeah. and it's very interesting. Um, and maybe maybe I'll still release it. I don't, I don't know. You guys can let me know if you think I should. But I just kind of felt like I've not personally shot with real celluloid film myself, yeah. and. I didn't feel comfortable uploading that because I, I really want this channel to always be like honest. Yeah, of course. And so, you know, I, I admire know. that because it's easy to like just kind of poop out a tutorial video yeah. when you don't know everything about something, which that's, that's why I rarely make tutorials. I've done that <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> and I felt bad about it. So I'm like, yeah, I, I want this to not to not be like that. But something that Zach and I have been joking about with Fujifilm lately, which has been really fun to say is that I feel like Fujifilm is the Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, of the camera world. It's so true. And and what I mean by that is I don't mean it's crappy. It's crappy, you know, like Taco Bell. It is Bell. delicious. It's delicious though. Um, but what I mean by that is like every Fujifilm camera is essentially the same. Yeah, like the X100V, the X-T3, the X-T4, yeah. the X-S10, they all have the exact same sensor. Yeah, it's the same sensor. They same have ingredients. Same ingredients, you know, maybe maybe this one has 4K60, you know, that's the, that's the, uh, it's like, that's like, um, the having, Chalupa. Yeah, that's like the Chalupa. Yeah. Like all of Taco Bell's menu items are made of the same thing. Right. But each one of them just has like a slight variation of the same ingredients. Sure. And it's but like, they're all delicious. And they're all delicious. And what <laughs> form factor do you want your T-Bell or or your Fuji film in. Right. Um, and I, I think that's actually kind of a beautiful thing because if you buy any, whatever, whatever Fuji film camera you can afford, like if it's the T30, like, you know, that's their cheaper end yeah. camera. Um, if you can only afford that one, it's like, oh, but I want the T4. It's like, don't, don't worry about it. The T30's a great camera still. And another like Taco Bell-ism that sure. Fuji has is like even their like flagships, like the X-T4s, their yeah. flagship APS-C, right. it's still like half the cost of the A7S III. You're right. It's fast food, baby. It's, it's fast, fast food, Fuji. baby. It's fast Fuji. Fast Fuji. <laughs> There's just too many memes in this. It's beautiful. Yeah, but anyways, guys, this has just been like a, I just wanted to talk about Fujifilm in 2021 because I think it's just such an interesting camera platform yeah i feel like no matter where you are on the camera spectrum like there's a fujifilm camera for you yeah like if you're a super seasoned pro like 
you have like the biggest DSLR, you shoot really high end stuff. Yeah. It's still fun to have something like the X100V. Sure. Just as a pocket camera, like if you're on vacation with your family, yeah. you can get some 4K clips of your kids playing in F Log if you want. Yeah. Sure. Or throw a film sim on. Right. Or shoot really nice, like 26 megapixel JPEGs. Dude, yeah. And there, you don't have to edit if you don't want to. It's just like it brings the the fun back into shooting for me. Yeah, which I like. it's it's an it's an element that it makes the camera not feel like work. Yeah, exactly. So all of what me and you do for work is revolving around cameras, using cameras, right. talking about cameras. <laughs> yeah. So it's nice to just once in a while just like unplug from that and just like go hang out and bring the Fuji along. Yeah, exactly. So anyways, guys, if you have a Fujifilm and you love what you're getting or you want a Fujifilm in the future, be sure to drop a like on this video. Super appreciate it. Also, be sure to check out Zach Mayfield's channel. His personal channel yeah. is phenomenal. If you want a good laugh, I'm over there Come sometimes. Hang. Come hang with us. Also, sometimes on Kinetika, not as much now. Yeah. More on your personal channel. We're doing too much, so. essentially. Yeah, we're drowning, so <laughs> pray for us, please. <laughs> but uh, anyways, guys, I hope that you all have a fantastic week, and I will see you whenever I make another video. Take it <laughs> easy, guys. Bye-bye. I love that. That was great. That was fun, dude.